Hi, I'm Matt Parrott, Director of Field Operations for the Charlotte Knights, AAA affiliate of the Chicago White Sox, and this is LT Turf. So Matt, obviously there's something in the middle of your baseball field over yeah. here, kind of the elephant in the room. <laughs> what is going on? Long story short, we started during COVID, a winter of uh, lights festival that has morphed into something more, much more than that. Currently right now we are installing the base for a NHL size hockey rink that's going in. The process started on Monday and we basically will not have our field back until February the 1st. Sandbox, 20,000 square foot sandbox goes in. Uh, a sand base, which the sand base is actually being constructed out of our root zone material that we use to grow grass on. When this process finishes up today, we'll come in tomorrow. There'll be 85,000 square feet of drivable flooring that surrounds all this, covers all this grass. And then the load in starts for the actual construction of the hockey rink. 12 ice slides coming out of the stands. It's a really big operation. And then when everything's done, we'll have our, our Christmas event, our holiday event. And then in January, our local AAA equivalent hockey team, the Charlotte Checkers, will be playing uh, an outdoor hockey game, the Queen City Classic uh, against Rochester. And when that culminates, we'll start loading everything out, turn the chillers off, melt the ice down through our sand base, start taking everything out. And when that finishes up February 1st, the plan is to take the existing sand that we have here, strip the outfield, push the sand to the outfield, break everything down, and then we'll use that sand to meet our elevations everywhere on the field. Uh, this is a planned renovation. This field has been short of the resodding last summer. We're 10 years old, so it's time to do uh, a large scale renovation project. So that's the quick and dirty of it. We've basically turned it over and we'll get it back in February. So here we are, we're out on the field um, at, at Truist Field. Currently, we are growing Latitude 36. Uh, that was what we put in during the renovation last season. 85 to 90,000 square feet of turf. This year for our renovation, after our winter or Queen City Classic, we will be going with Tahoma 31. It obviously looks much different now in the off season than it does during the season. Uh, we have had, since our season ended September 17th, uh, it has been event after event after event. Then with the load in of the hockey rink, we've had to go ahead and turn irrigation off. We have basically halted all maintenance of turf. But during the summer, our cultural practices are very intense. Uh, we are typically airifying in some capacity every week when the team's out of town, whether it be a solid tine, a needle tine, pulling cores. We verticut very regularly just based on the variety and the aggressiveness of latitude and anticipate doing the same with Tahoma. Our height of cut throughout the season ranges from three eighths of an inch to a half inch. In sports turf, we use the inch model as opposed to three, 375 to 500. Everything is in feet and inches on a baseball field. So yeah, but just a lot of inputs go into it during the summer. We basically have to take every minute that we can that the team is out of town to achieve the maintenance that we need to to get ready for them to come back into town because the structure of a baseball schedule, seven days in a row batting practice, there's very little time for uh, any type of cultural practices during a baseball season. And then on top of that, uh, we, we have the, the dirt maintenance, skin maintenance, mound and plate maintenance. So when the team is in town, most of our practices on a daily basis outside of mowing and, ir and running irrigation are focused more on dirt areas than they are on turf areas. And then that flip-flops, uh, when the team is out of town, we put a lot of focus on our turf areas, while not neglecting the dirt areas, but uh, it's much more intensive turf maintenance during those periods of time. All right, so um, 
This is our shop area that we use to maintain the field. Our equipment is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. We brought in a new fleet five years ago, uh, so that fleet will be, we're about at the time that we'll be changing that out. Um, if we go over here, we basically, our everyday utility cart that we pull most of our implements with is a John Deere Pro Gator. And our infield warning track groomer is the John Deere 1200A. We actually have two of those uh, in our shop. A beautiful old Wacker roller, but it serves its purpose. It's, uh, it's painted black uh, to match the team colors. We call it the Black Knight. And then over here, a piece that we have that we've just brought in, actually have not used it, uh, kind of a byproduct of COVID and the supply chain is a Wiedemann Triple V Verticutter. That was ordered and took about a year for us to get that in. So we, we just got that. We have not had the opportunity to use that particular piece yet. We also back here have a John Deere 2653 uh, mower that is a dedicated verticutting unit for us. We use that quite often for more of a grooming uh, verticut. It's not used in, a, in an aggressive verticut. We have a Turfco top dresser back here that we use for our top dressing sand and to put warning track material out. And we also have a Toro Pro Sweep, which is what we use to harvest cores, harvest vertic verticutting debris when we verticut. And then as we go over here, the Kubota Skid is actually our field contractors who they're working on a project right now for us. And then over on this side of the shop, our everyday mower is a John Deere 7200. That's our triplex that we mow our outfield with. And then John Deere HD 200 sprayer is our spray rig. So that's about it. We walk our walk mow our infield with a John Deere 260 SL. So that's a quick rundown of the equipment that we have in the shop. Okay, so you guys have seen our shop, you've seen our equipment, you've seen our field, and you've seen a hockey rink being built. It's time for us to get back to work, so get off our turf.